Hello and welcome along to this 2010 Willoughby Granada 35 by 12 2 bed walkthrough. It's priced at 15995 and we have double glazing and we've got electric plinth panel heaters in here. I'm going to give you a quick look around as usual, show you the layout and the condition, point out anything that I think I need to point out and see how we go with it really. So let's get on. As you can see, we're joined, uh, well, you join me here in this living room area where we've got a dining table standing there on the left hand side with four chairs. And then we have this wraparound fitted seating area. Pretty typical of the Granada, really. Granada's been made by uh, Willoughby over the years. Many, many iterations of the Granada over the years. And uh, this is the 2010 version. All of them pretty much have this fitted seating area that wraps around from the side, sometimes to the front, sometimes just on the side. The upholstery on the whole is okay, a um, little bit saggy in a couple of places, just where the cushion casings have just got a bit loose. But as you can see, generally speaking on the whole, condition wise, there is nothing really to mention about it being uh, you know, bad rips or stains or anything like that, so that's good. In the front corner here on the door side, we've got our electric fireplace on the left here with some storage above, little glass shelves. And then we've got TV unit area in the corner with space underneath for a DVD player or whatever you want and then some drawers as well. Got lots of windows across the front, one on the door side there and then big windows across the front of the caravan and one over on the off side there as well. And then just spinning around to show you that sofa again. Over in the corner you've got some shelving and uh, well, behind the cupboard doors there and then some shelving to the right hand side there with mirrored glass shelves there as well. And then we're looking back up the caravan towards the dining area and the entrance door there. There's one entrance door which comes in onto hard floor and onto vinyl into the kind of kitchen dining area there. Carpet in the living room area, as you can see, it's basically just well trodden. Um, there's nothing particularly offensive about it, but it's just been uh, well trodden. Probably is the original, so it's sort of become a bit colour stained and things with the sun um, and a bit worn in places. So, uh, you know, definitely would look a lot nicer in here with a bit of new carpet in which is an option for us to do for you. Just showing you the layout. So the comfortable layout really, you've got a nice seating area here. We fit at least one, two, three, four, five, five adults, maybe more if you like to get cozy. Um, on the sofa here, TV over in the corner, nice electric fire there, um, separate area there for your dining table and things. So good storage as well, hidden in the corners and then with these extra bits of shelving. There is going to be, and there is delamination in the caravan. As you can see over here, there's delamination to the cupboard doors. They're quite bad in places, as you can see. It's these really brittle, hard corners which scrape on the other doors, like on the top there. You can hear it quite a lot, can't you? So, I mean, there's a few things you can do with them. I mean, in all honesty, I think those four doors there you could either remove them and just have an open shelved cupboard area or you could take them off and we could roll the doors in in a in a brown paint of some kind with the glass and then put the handles back on refit and we're good to go we're going to see that's a bit of a common theme with the granada here and that is a common theme with willoughby's of this sort of age so coming over to the side here you can see the ledge it's completely gone there and then you've got the same thing on the doors there and then looking at the kitchen, we'll have a look, little uh, look around in the kitchen here. See what we've got a little bit going on the edge of this one. Um, one by the oven always goes <laughs> around here. So as you can see, kind of fairly common issue there. So we can get new doors. So I'm thinking looking at the place, I think new doors in the kitchen if need be. And then by the door here potentially there as well or we could just remove them in favor of a storage cupboard it all depends really on what the customer if that's you out there somebody uh, might want so just it's all about having a chat come along have a look at the camera we can go through the options see what you want us to do as is you know I wouldn't say the possibilities are endless, but there's a few, and uh, we can chat about what we can do. So I'm not going to keep up mentioning the delamination now because I've shown you a few doors. You know it's an issue with some of them, so I'm not going to point every single door out now. Um, just assume that it's got it, and um, and we'll talk about the rest of the caravan. So coming into the caravan from the right-hand side here, where your exterior door is, coming onto that hard floor, and as I was saying, that's just in the kitchen. It goes back to carpet for the hallway, but the kitchen itself you've got a lot of cupboard space over in the corner there the drawers 
um, around the oven, a couple of extra cupboards on the left-hand side here, plus the shelves in the corner. So good space in the caravan here for, for the kitchen. Gas oven, hob and grill as usual. And then on the right-hand side here, we've got a freestanding fridge freezer. That would have been integrated before, but someone at some point's taken the door off and just fitted a freestanding appliance, which generally speaking is a cheaper thing to do when the original stops working. So that's probably what they've done. Coming through from the kitchen then, through the hallway bit here to the back of the caravan is our main bedroom. It's a good size, nice, quite, quite nice main bedroom here. As you see, you've got cupboard storage over the top of the bed, a couple of bedside table cupboards as well. The windows on the rear of the caravan. And then we've also got an ensuite toilet in here as well. Showing you the cupboard storage here. You've got a plinth heater at the bottom. And then good wardrobe cupboard storage there with four drawers below as well. The bed, I believe, is a lift-up bed frame. Let's have a look. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's the original doors. They're the original doors for the fridge freezer, I would imagine. So if you did want to put an integrated appliance in, then you probably could turn it back to that. Otherwise, just leave it as it is, the freestanding fridge freezer. But you've got that there for extra st cupboard storage underneath. And then just looking at your ensuite here, you've got ensuite toilet and sink, as you can see. So that's the main bedroom. Coming out of here and turning immediately to our right, you find our twin room, where we have two single beds. Window there on the off side of the caravan. Coming in and spinning round. We've got a half wardrobe unit there, as you can see. Goes towards the top near the ceiling, but um, just comes halfway down with the electric plinth heater there. Fairly self-explanatory. Got a boiler on the left hand side here, boiler doors delaminated on the front, but um, let's see just in here, water heater there for your hot water for your bathroom and your kitchen. And then the other door here is for the bathroom, where we've got a panel rater, which is severely rusty, that's something we can replace. Toilet there on the left hand side, kitchen, every time I say kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and then shower there on the right hand side. Sliding shower door. As so good decent sized shower really it's a sort of twice width it's a half sliding door but then it's a good whip shower good space in there really trims have come off and we need to obviously we'll test everything once it's sold that's been the bathroom then as well and then coming back through the kitchen to the living room area and then we'll have a jump outside and look at the exterior it's raining so let's make it quick just looking at the outside of the granada It's got the standard Granada looking front to it. Tar pitch roof. Tape there is just for when it's on the road, there's no damage there. Proper downpipes and guttering. As you can see. No real bad damage down that side to make you aware of. Look at the back of the caravan. It looks okay on the back as well, nothing to make you aware of there. And then looking at the door side as well, sense seems to be okay. A couple of little small dents, top and bottom there. Probably had something on the doors or something that's knocked the door handle, and a couple of little dimple dents along the side as well. You might not be able to pick them up on the video, but there's just a few, but they're only tiny. Downpipe there just needs refitting. It's just underneath the caravan. Looking at the chassis. So there's a galvanised chassis, but there is surface rust on it, as you can see but um, it's all still solid and nothing to worry about there. So that's been our Willoughby Granada 35 by 12 two bed from 2010. It's got double glazing, it's got electric plinth and panel heaters and it's priced at 15,995. A few bits to do in there like the doors and things, but like I said, come and have a chat with us and we can go through and see what you would like us to do. Um, tailor make the caravan for you and come up with a, a nice one for you. But um, got any questions or give us a call or an email. Stay wonderful, have a good day, enjoy the spring, rain in here, never mind, see you next time, cheers.